Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jet Hopman. I'm a sophomore here at Grand Valley. I'm a major in secondary education and social studies. And I've been absolutely blessed with the opportunity to share a bit of uh, how God has just been working in my life li uh, lately. And so to start, I guess I'll start a little early. Uh, when I was in high school, I was raised in a Christian household, but I never really walked with Jesus. I just kind of believed in it, as a lot of people these days do. Uh, until my senior year, I decided to get baptized. I just felt really convicted, and I got baptized. And from there, God just set me on a journey uh, of numerous experiences that would change my life. That summer, I participated in a week-long camp uh, called Colorado Challenge that was run through my hometown. And there I was able to lead uh, people who are younger than me. And I was able to see God work in their lives and just see that like uh, Jesus can work through me to change people's lives. And that's incredible. And that's just kind of like what I want to do with the rest of my life as I found that out. I also worked at a place called Camp Sunshine, which is a camp for adults who have disabilities and you get paired one-on-one -on -one and you're able to try to give them a camp experience and it really just taught me a servant attitude uh jesus did not come to be uh the king of all of us even though he is the king of our souls and he's the king of the kingdom of heaven uh he came to serve and that's what we are too we are his servants and so i was able to just uh be a complete servant and that taught me so much compassion so much empathy and when i came to college i had a choice the choice that probably a lot of you freshmen are going to face uh, soon. Uh, you can choose to go down the normal college path of going and, you know, uh, just having a bunch of fun, but at the cost of your soul. And that's not the choice I wanted to make. I wanted to make the choice uh, of joy, of eternal life, of praise, of God. And when I decided to make that choice, I came here. And when I came to the first well, I was terrified. I didn't know a single person at Grand Valley. I have social anxiety so bad that I almost vomited. I walked upstairs to uh, the uh, Pierre Marquette room where we had the first one, and I almost vomited. I walked all the way back downstairs. I was terrified, and then I, I had a thought. I was like, well, I don't know anybody there. Uh, but then I realized I do know one person there, uh, Jesus is there, because whenever we gather in his name, he is with us, and he is, our presence is here always. And so I went back, and uh, the person who happened to speak that night was my future life group leader and future very good friend, Chris. And it just so happened that uh, I got connected with him, and I joined a life group, and my life group was uh, something that changed my life forever and will continue to change my life as college goes on. But... Uh, I highly encourage all of you, if you are not in a life group, uh, sign up. It changed my life. It's, it's, just, uh, it's just joy. It's a bunch of people gathered together to praise the Lord, to talk to each other, to be vulnerable, and to just have friends that they can continue uh, down life with. And uh, that's why I worship.